All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And well, my TrueNAS scale install is finally working the way I need it to. Now, let me tell the story of the server drama that I've had to go through. Now, I have two channels. I have this channel and I have another channel. That other channel produced three to four videos a week. Now, I'm all about efficiency, so I wanted to have my workflow in my limited editing time on the weekend to maximize the amount of time I could spend editing instead of just rendering. Now, I already had an Unraid server and I'd set it up as a archive storage primarily. I took that Unraid server and ingested my footage into it, did network drives, and I'd set up a render server so that I, when I was done editing, I could send it to a different PC to then render the video so I could go back to editing the next video. So I could be as efficient as possible setting up my workflow. Moving forward, I set up a Proxmox server with TrueNAS Core virtualized. And I set up a VDEV to be SSD storage for all of my footage. And I broke the Proxmox server when I upgraded the CPU to a higher core count. The network card would stop working, so I'd have to go into the terminal and fix it. I basically said, screw it. I wanted to go to TrueNAS scale anyway. So I took that one back down. I rebuilt it as a TrueNAS scale install not virtualized, just a TrueNAS scale, specifically for the purpose of storing video files for video editing. Now, the problem I had with the server, multiple, I did a video on it, but when I would go to transfer files to it, you know, video files, bigger files, when I transferred the footage, it would start out fine, plenty of transfer speed, and then it would just die, go down to one, two megabits a second, it just sucked. It took forever to ingest my footage. The RAID was set up in the exact same way as virtualized on TrueNAS Core. In that state, it was not really usable because the transferring of footage would take an hour or two. When I lost my full-time job, don't worry, I'm fully employed. So things have changed as far as that because I don't film off location. I film here now for all of my videos which has added some complications, but we'll get into that in a second. TrueNAS was no longer usable. When I would import the footage and try to edit it on my Unraid server, it would still be in the cache drives. And the problem with that is, is performance on the Adobe timeline was horrendous. It just, it was just a bad experience. So I kind of basically shut down my render server and wasn't using anymore. I was rendering all my videos back on that. It wasn't a big deal because I was here every day. But the complications I've added is now that I'm filming at home, I'm no longer filming my main videos with a Sony a6400. I'm now filming with my studio camera, which is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K. <laughs> Slightly larger files, a little heavier to handle. A viewer has suggested a fix for me and I already had come to that same inclusion, but I'll give him props here because he said it out loud, was switching from a RAID Z1 to Mirror. All right, so now one of the problems I've had since those all those problems is, as you can see, there's my original RAID Z1, one VDEV. I've got currently 10% on it. The problem is, for a while, I've been getting notices like this on all all four of the drives in that VDEV. Now I used silicon power SATA drives, but I've been getting those messages for a while now. Now I think it might actually be the SATA controller on my MSI motherboard. Now my new editing pool is now three SATA Samsung one terabyte drives. Now I only have a terabyte of available storage. If the storage actually runs into a problem, I can always add more storage as we go forward. But my editing pool mirror now transfers at blazing fast speeds. I've got no errors on that VDEV. My storage pool is good. Now the editing pool is actually, I no longer have access to it. I took away the SMB share for it. Don't care. It's just kind of hanging out there. I'll probably do something with it. But with the errors, I don't want to use it. So when I installed the editing mirror pool, I added a four port SATA card and it is now on a PCI slot. 
So I think that'll be better for longevity of the drives. So I now have two and a half gig transfer speeds off my cards into the TrueNAS scale install. It's all fixed. I can edit it off of it. So I can set up routines to go ahead and transfer it to the Unraid server as you know the weeks progress, but I haven't done that yet. I've just now finally got this fixed. My render server, well, has changed. It's no longer intact. <laughs> I did a video on tearing it down. So I don't have a render server set up right now, but what I'm recording this one on right now will eventually be my render server. It's got a 7,900 AMD processor, 4080. It can rock it. I should probably be editing on this, but it's my gaming PC and I don't want to move that one to gaming because this one does one more FPS. <laughs> And I built this one on the channel, so if you want to check that out. But all of my transfer speeds are now as good as they can be with a 2.5 gig NIC, which is a little bit of a bottleneck on my T5 drives that I record Blackmagic to, but not enough to really care about. So it's been a journey <laughs> getting these this server back up and running, but now that it's up and running, I've edited off of it. Everything works great. I can just rock and roll from now on. So hope you found this video informative. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.